So why, why, why did you come here today? Turn Quran, which I'm going to burn down, by, down the road here. You can't burn the word of God. And no matter what you do, you try to extinguish the light of Allah. Allah will perfect his light. There's nothing you can do. And you will burn in the hellfire. You will burn in the hellfire. You can't burn the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, you just saw what happened here. The Quran burner and his friends, they came to burn the Quran at our masjid premise. And Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, I saw them and I confronted them and I scared them. These cowards did not dare to burn the Quran in front of me. So what did they do? They just went away and Qadr Allah, what happened after that is insane. It's insane. You just saw the clip of the car. Now let's watch the whole thing, what actually happened. You guys just saw what happened to the Quran banner. Now, obviously, we do not advise any Muslim to do what these two sisters here did. But the reality is that if someone keeps insulting Allah, his prophet, and the book of Allah in the vile manner this Quran banner has been doing for so long and the government doesn't actually do anything to stop them. It's just a matter of time until some Muslims may lose their temper and will not be able to control themselves and do what they just did in this video. Now again, I'm not endorsing or encouraging anyone to do any such acts. I'm just being factual here. If nobody takes care of the Quran banner and makes him stop, I mean the government here obviously, then people will, will eventually take the law in their own hands because they, they don't find another way to deal with the Quran banner and we don't want that. We don't want Norway or the West to become a lawless society. These people, they're already insulting Allah, they're already insulting the Prophet ﷺ, and they are already being physical and being violent against anyone who tries to stop them. Now the only next step we remain to see now is that these people would start to attack Muslims, these people would start to kill Muslims and these people would commit acts of terrorism. That's the natural way this could escalate. And wallahi, that would be a catastrophe. It would be a catastrophe if we see blood being shed on either side. If Muslims are doing something or these racist people are doing something, it's a catastrophe. We don't want the society to develop in this way. The only way we can stop this filthy man from burning the Quran and insulting the Prophet 
is to make him understand that whenever he is insulting the book of Allah, whenever he is, he is insulting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the reaction of the Muslims will be that they will be donating towards establishing the deen of Allah. When he see and he realize that every time he does what he does, that da'wah is flourishing, more and more people are coming back to the deen of Allah. Muslims are becoming more practicing. Non-Muslims are embracing Islam. Mosques and Islamic institutions are being established and the da'wah is just expanding and expanding. He would have no other choice than to stop because their goal is to eradicate Islam, to stop the spread of Islam, to make sure that Islam diminishes from this country. And if they see that their actions are counterproductive and their actions is, are only leading to the establishment of, of the deen of Allah, they'd have no other choice than to stop. So brothers and sisters, immediate action is required right now. We cannot just sit back and watch someone insult the deen of Allah, that someone is burning the Quran and insulting the Prophet ﷺ like that. We can't sit back and accept that. So brothers and sisters, donate for the sake of Allah, whatever you can. If it's something small, give it for the sake of Allah. If you can contribute with something big, then give whatever you can contribute with. Because this is a noble cause. This is an honorable cause. We are inshallah ta'ala with your donations, not only preventing the burning of the Quran and the insults of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but we are also establishing the deen of Allah and we are protecting the lives of the Muslims. So click the button and take action right now. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.